If you found that you've not received a payout from your mining grid to your crypto wallet in a while, it's likely to do with your settings on Ethermine, the mining pool that controls payouts into your wallet. Luckily, changing these settings is very easy and we'll go over how to do it now. The first thing that you'll need to get is your Ethereum mining address. Now you can get this directly from your Binance or your exchange account, or you can get it through Hive. To get your mining address from Hive, log on to your account and go to Wallets. From there, you will find your Ethereum mining address. So you'll want to copy that address, right click and copy. And then you'll want to head to the Ethermine website, which can be found at www.ethermine.org. Once you're on the site, paste the address into the Ethereum miner address field. And then hit enter. This will take you through to your Ethermine dashboard. Now, if you've got a pending payout, you might see a notification just like this one on your dashboard. The next thing that you'll want to do is head to settings and then hit payment method. Then to set the thresholds to get your automatic payouts, you'll want to click on gas price limit and threshold. Now you can set your Ethereum payment threshold from any figure from 0.01 to 10 Ethereum mined. We recommend a smaller value so you get your payouts more frequently. And the gas price limit is essentially acts as a transaction fee that you have to pay when withdrawing funds from your account. Now it's likely that this figure is set way too low and as such it isn't triggering a payout. So set your gas price fee to a higher figure. Now we recommend about 100 GUE, uh, which is still a very low figure in real world monetary terms as one GUE equals around one ten millionth of an Ethereum. Once you're happy with your changes, you'll need to get the IP address of your highest performing rig in order to verify your identity and save your changes. To do this, head over onto Hive and then you'll click on Workers. And then you'll want to find the worker that is the highest performer, aka the worker with the highest hash rate. So that the hash rate is just this number here. Now if you've got quite a lot of workers, you can also sort by hash rate in order to make it a lot easier for you. You will then want to click on the worker um, with the highest hash rate. Then once it's loaded, scroll down to the bottom of the overview tab. And then here you'll find a field that's called remote IP, um, which at first will look like a bunch of X's. What you'll want to do is hover your mouse over that field and that will reveal the IP address. Then you'll double click to highlight it, right click, and then just click on copy to copy that address. Then you'll head back into Ethermine, you'll input the IP address into the field and then just hit on update settings and then finally you'll just want to hit save in order to confirm those changes. Any pending payments should come through within sort of 24 hours or so and then your automatic payment should be coming through on time after that. And if you've got a simple mining account, getting your IP address is slightly different. Once you're logged into your account, you will once again find the rig with the highest hash rate. Then you'll go over to actions on the left hand side and then click on the I for information. Then you'll click on system information down here. And then you'll just hit where it says IP. You've got your public IP and then just hit show IP. And then this address here is the address that you'll want to put into Ethermine.